and decided I want to do another commentary. And I did a commentary already, but I got noticed I got three dislikes, and I was like, well, why? So I looked on the video, and then I got another freaking fucking problem. I didn't even notice it. Because I put a point where I said, oh, good for you, dang it. And I forgot to put it there. So I'll do this commentary again on this video, and hopefully it gets less, doesn't get any, like that much dislikes. But really, I don't, I just shouldn't be caring about that, but still. But people should at least post the comments what's wrong with the video. Because I knew there was something problem with it, so I looked at it, and I assumed the f Mario fan guy, who will free you, look like 100, I don't know, subscribers. So it's a little started to do and doing movie maker because I think that's the reason I should never do in smoothie studio. This. What's up guys and I'm ready to make another video. First problem, why are you using why aren't you using a video editor? It's not even that hard to use it. And you're just using a Wii U pad that you don't look at. And another problem with that is you can't see what video you're commentating on and it's probably gonna be a little bit hard to hear the video, but I can kinda hear it fine, but still you should just really stick to a video of um, a video editing program. Hell, using a video recorder is better than this. Oh boy. This guy just feels like another guy got 13 bits. This isn't even how to review. But you're probably wondering who this guy is I'm talking about. Well, it's Mario the Plumber. Oh, okay, 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 okay. False alarm, people. He's doing a commentary on Mario the Plumber, not Mario the Plumber. I think we're all safe now. Oh, of course you can spell it correctly. Good for you. Or he, to this probably mispronounce his name. And his review of Sonic Rush Adventures. Sonic <laughs> Rush <laughs> Adventure. What the? <laughs> okay, so a few seconds in, and he's already swearing. That's just a sign of his minimal vocabulary. Or it could be a sign of, oh, I don't know, an obvious troll. You just said that troll everyone that curses in their videos. Everyone on YouTube, everyone in social media is an instant troll. I haven't seen your videos, but I'm pretty sure you're cursing on your videos. And you, you, you makes you a troll because you're basically saying that every person who cursed is an instant troll. Good job, buddy, because you said that's a old oh, maybe that's a sign of the obvious troll that's cursing. Not everyone that curses in the video is a troll. Seriously, this game sucks. Okay, you know what? Let's count and see how many times this guy says this game sucks. I mean. Look at the front cover. His quills are obviously going off the box art. He's <coughs> offside, but what's your point? His I mean, they're going up the other characters' asses that are just cut off the box art. I mean, seriously. Is he calling the game bad because of its box art? Seriously, I, I can't even tell if this is even a review. Which makes this commentary entirely pointless. I'm sorry, sir, but that was a joke. 
and even if it wasn't a joke, how could how is it pointless? Please explain next time how it is it pointless. Hey, what is it with you in this hentai game? Is this a critical point to the game? Also, a hentai game? Do you even know what hentai is? <laughs> hey, that question has never been brought up to death. Anyways, we're gonna start with the most important aspect. The character design. Oh what? You're not gonna say, hey, character design is not important, gameplay is. I mean you brought the hentai question, so you might as well bring that up. I'm sorry, sir, but you have no room to talk here. The character design sucks. I mean where the f is the Sonic 1 Sonic? Seriously? This game sucks. And then when you play it, it's like Hey, we made a new classic game, so you guys can be happy. It's a f classic. Okay, so it's not a classic Sonic game. We'll explain how. Um, why? I mean, the title and the premise pretty much explain itself. Why does he need to explain that it's not a 2D game? Well, the reason why you need to explain because the audience can understand why you don't like why it's 2D or a class sound game, whatever, blah blah. But really, you, you can explain why it's so the audience can understand it. That's why. I mean, that's like if I said uh, Super Mario Galaxy does not represent the 2D Mario games, people would look at me and go, oh, really? Well, explain how. I would be like, what? Do you not see the. Do you not. Because looking at a cover can magically no. give you the information. It's glitchy as And how is it glitchy? Please, just explain something. You know, I would say he's a troll, but that would be just me repeating myself. Good. 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 You told totally not going to be lying. The boss fights suck. And getting the emeralds, oh my fucking god. Getting the emeralds, Lizzie Johnny, I don't think so. Okay, now it's gay. Oh wait, you didn't send you didn't send you those other two parts. Why? Gay? What are you going to explain how it's gay? No? Okay. I mean, this game sucks. There you go. One of the worst to be Sonic games. Probably the worst. I mean, seriously, this game. You know, I'm gonna give this game, I'm gonna give one out of ten because it, it just sucks. So that's it for this review. Stay tuned for more reviews on Mario to Plumber. Wait, you're not going to show any gameplay? You're not going to show anything? This isn't even a review. You don't say. At least Gligon 13 has the decency to show some gameplay. I mean, yeah, he spends like three minutes in the box art, but you spent a whole video on the box art, which, by the way, is only three minutes. And that was a mistake of you to do a commentary on Gligon because he's also a troll. Oh, and remember you said this? You know, I would say he's a troll, but that would be just me repeating myself. Well, guess what? You just repeated yourself. Good job. How can you even call this a review? How Why is this on YouTube? Oh, I don't know, maybe just to get a rise out of people like you? And he gave it a negative 1 out of 10. Hmm. Can you give negative numbers? I don't know. If Johnny of Super Game Bros can give Superman 64 a negative 64 out of 10, anything's possible. Juggernaut <laughs> Why did he think this was a good idea to release? And it's not even like this is his first one. He's got loads of them! Yeah, I think everyone at, at this point pretty much knows that. And he gives them all terrible scores. Alright, here's where I go into a mini rant uh, not just- No, 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 no! We all know what you're gonna really say there. So, I'm not gonna really list, let everyone listen to you saying it. I know what you're gonna say, you're gonna do a rant on saying, Stop, don't do a commentary on Tari the Plumber because he's a troll. We get it, he's a troll, 
and we already know that. Now, this is not one of my best commentaries, but seriously, I just found this video randomly because I was looking for material. But in this video, my final thoughts is, use next time, use your editing program, and next time, don't lie. It's about saying you're not going to repeat yourself when you clearly, before, like I said, you repeated yourself. Another thing is the lame, the jokes you made up. I made up a few jokes, but really, I don't really know if they're funny or not, but still... This, this, the jokes were just basically stolen, com nostalgic critic jokes, um, a stolen nostalgic joke, even though they're not funny at all, like, like, one of them, I think, like, I don't really don't care, but more than all, this video was dumb, like, pretty much dumb. <sighs> well, thank you guys for watching, uh, update videos coming up. Um, of the commentaries, um, basically things, and thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later. Bye.